What's up once again everyone, MonkeyDo22 here with another tip, trick, or tutorial video and today I have my good buddy Scratch with me and we're going to show you a neat little trick we discovered with the latest alpha update for Xbox One. Now full disclosure, what I'm about to talk about and show you is currently a part of the Xbox Insider Program's alpha ring and this feature may change or be enhanced in the future. Of course, you've probably heard about the latest update to Mixer on the Xbox One console, which includes a new feature called controller sharing. This feature allows a person who's streaming to on Mixer to share the controller with a member of the streaming audience through the miracle that is FTL technology. If you're not too familiar with that announcement and you want to see a little bit more about the feature in depth, be sure to check out the video Scratch put up on his channel, and I'll have a link to that video and his channel in the description, as well as the end cards of this video. Now, one of the most common questions that people have been asking about this ever since this feature was announced is how can I use this to play co-op with the streamer? Well, officially the streamer is only sharing control of the primary profile they're used to sign in on the console. So technically it's not possible for somebody to use a second profile on the streamer's console. Basically the shared user will be fighting over the controls with the person who's streaming. But what if you could do that? How would it work? Would you see any lag with the controls? Well, if there's a will, there is a way, and a Scratch and myself found a way to make that dream a reality, and here's our results. First, I'm gonna demonstrate how we do it so that you can do the same thing on your own. What we're gonna do is we're going to connect a second Xbox One controller to the console and sign into a profile or simply a guest profile on the streaming Xbox One console. Then when I start streaming, I'm going to use the guest account and offer the shared control streaming privilege to Scratch. What this does is it will allow us to control two separate characters at the same time without fighting over the controls. So real quick, here's how it works. From the Xbox dashboard, sign into the profile that you're going to use to stream with on controller one. Then take the second Xbox one controller and sign into either another profile on the console or select guest profile. Now from controller one, you're going to want to start up a stream and launch the game that you want to play. Don't forget to enable controller sharing and remember that anytime you switch games, the controller sharing stops. So you will need to re-enable controller sharing once you boot up the next game. Now that we're in the game, just set it up as you would with any other couch co-op game, but leave the player one stuff to the person who's sharing the controller. At this time, you'll want to use the second controller with the guest profile. Now you'll be able to play various different offline couch co-op games that you never thought you'd be able to play online before. Now Scratch, you're a fairly big streamer on Mixer. As we take a look at some of the footage from the games we played, what would you say was the highlight moment of our testing, and what would you say this brings to the forefront for your audience and the viewing public on Mixer as a whole? Thanks, Monkey Dude. That's a really good question. What's up, everybody? This is Scratch. I think for me, the pinnacle moment of the stream was when I realized that we could actually control Cuphead with a fair amount of accuracy. Now, I didn't expect to be able to do it at all, really, given the input lag and the precise controls that are required in a game like Cuphead. But we were actually able to get fairly far, and I think we even beat one or two of the bosses. And it kind of gave me an idea that there's a little bit of room for innovation here where a streamer could have their viewers take control of Cuphead and maybe hold like a little competition or something like that to see who could get the farthest, you know, given the handicap that comes with um, streaming over the internet. So I think that would be really cool to see. I want to give a shout out to Srikar Chaudhry, which I'm sure I'm butchering that, but they're the ones over on my channel in the comments that gave Monkey Dude and I this idea of playing with two player couch co op. So shout out to them. I'm really looking forward to you guys in the community for coming up with different ideas of how to use this feature, and I'll turn it back over to Monkey Dude. That's fantastic. Thank you, Scratch, and I couldn't have said it better myself, because as you can see in all these different games that we played and tested, everything from Cuphead, Plants vs. Zombies, Disney Infinity, and Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers from the Disney Afternoon Collection, the experience varied from game to game. But the fact that we were able to accomplish this at all really opened the doors to new possibilities, the Scratch said. I never thought that I would be able to play co-op with someone online in Cuphead, and now that's a reality. So now that we know that this is possible, what game are you guys interested in testing this with? Do you take to the challenge of Cooking Edition Overcooked? Or will you take to the skies in a game like Crimson Skies and fight for the glory? 
Either way, let us know in the comments section below. Both me and Scratch will be looking and answering questions as well as creating new videos to answer them in more detail. Be sure to check out Scratch's YouTube channel. He's a really good friend of mine and a fantastic streamer. Check him out on Mixer and you might just be able to take control of yourself. And as always, if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button and share the fantastic news with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as to Scratch on YouTube for the very best in quality content. On behalf of Scratch, thank you so much for watching everyone. I'm MonkeyDo22 and I'll see you in the next video.